The DMT aliens, elves, and entities you see while you're on DMT, they're not real. DMT is unique among psychedelics for one specific reason. A huge number of users report encountering entities, beings, aliens, elves. I have to tell you why DMT entities are not real, and by the end of this, you will agree with me. Let's start with a fundamental principle of scientific reasoning, Occam's razor, also known as the law of parsimony. Occam's razor states that when you have multiple explanations for a phenomenon, the simplest one, the one that requires the fewest assumptions, is usually correct. So we have two competing explanations for DMT entities. Explanation one, DMT is a powerful hallucinogenic drug that causes your visual cortex to generate vivid, complex hallucinations. These hallucinations sometimes takes the form of beings or entities because the human brain is wired to recognize faces and patterns. The experience feels real because the same neural pathways that process actual perception are being activated. Or explanation two, DMT opens a portal to a hidden dimension of reality that exists parallel to our own. In this dimension, there are actual alien beings with their own intelligence and agency. These beings exist independently of human consciousness and can only be perceived when DMT alters our brain chemistry to access orthogonal dimensions or hyperspace frequencies. Which explanation requires fewer assumptions? Which is more consistent with everything else we know about how the brain and drugs work? Obviously, explanation one. It's the simplest, most parsimonious explanation that fits all the available evidence. Explanation two requires us to assume that hidden dimensions exist, that beings live in these dimensions, that these beings are somehow similar enough to human concepts that we interpret them as elves or aliens, that DMT specifically and uniquely allows us access to these dimensions, and that our brain can somehow perceive extra-dimensional beings, and that all of this happens without any physical mechanism we could detect or measure. That's a lot of assumptions, and not a single one has any scientific evidence supporting it. Look, I get why people want DMT entities to be real. It would be amazing if a simple molecule could prove that there's some other dimension, alien intelligences, and vast cosmic mysteries waiting to be discovered. But reality doesn't care about what we want to be true. Reality is what it is, independent of our desires, or beliefs.